What's up YouTube? I'm Sam Oldham with Backcountry Live and today we're going to be talking about why I sold my 2018 KTM 250 XE. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back everyone. So today we're gonna to be talking about why I sold my 2018 KTM 250 XE. And if you guys remember, for those that follow the channel, I actually just did a video on why that 2018 KTM 250 XE was the best dirt bike I've ever owned. If you haven't seen that, we'll leave a link in the description. Go check that out. So as you can see here, this is a YZ250X. This is something that's already in the backcountry garage. I'm not replacing it with this bike, even though I really like it. So I kind of want to talk a little bit about why I sold my 2018 KTM 250 XE. The first thing is, is I sold it with around 80 hours, which isn't actually that many hours in my opinion, but I have a process that when I can find a better deal on a newer model of dirt bike that I'm looking at or trying a different dirt bike, I will sell my current dirt bike and then go and find a better deal or a deal on a used dirt bike. I rarely buy new dirt bikes just because I feel like they just lose their value and you just lose a couple grand every time you buy them, which is hard if you want to stay current or fresh with your dirt bike. So my 2018 was a phenomenal bike. So I didn't sell it because I didn't like it or something was wrong with it. The reason for that is when my buddy Kyle at Dirt Bike Channel gave me a really good opportunity to, to close the deal on a new dirt bike. And we'll do a video on what that dirt bike is as well. But the process of that is so every year or two years, I'll ride a bike and then I will sell it. And then I'll get a newer model 2019 or 2020 type dirt bike. But during those year or two years, I'll save money and put it aside to be able to buy the newer model dirt bike. And usually the newer model dirt bikes I'm buying used so I can get a better deal and I only have to spend a little bit more money than what I currently have because I've already invested the money in the, the dirt bike and it then allows me to get the money back out and then roll it into something else. Now I could have rode that 2018 for a lot longer. I love that bike. It's a great bike. I could a lot for a long time. In fact, you could probably ride it forever. You know, two strokes, they just last a long time. You can rebuild them and so forth. But for me, I like to try new things out and that's just my personal opinion. So I will go and, you know, get a newer model year whenever I can find the right deal. Even though I had the best dirt bike that I've ever ridden, that 2018 KTM 250XC was magical. I'm always searching for something better. Do I feel that the new bikes are better? I don't know. That's what I want to try out. And you know, it's okay to stay with one bike, but I'm always trying to just try things a little bit different or you know, try the new things like I like doing that. That's just a personal preference, but I get that it costs money, that it can be expensive. And that's the reason why I'm selling my bike is not because I didn't love it. It's because I just want to try new things. I already have a target bike that I want to buy. Like I said, the, my buddy at Dirt Bike Channel, Kyle has found me a really good deal. So I may go pull the trigger on that one and we'll do a video on what that bike is and then also why I bought the bike. So stay tuned for that. If you guys aren't already following us, hit that subscription button. Comment below what your guys' process is for buying dirt bikes, because I really want to know. Maybe there's something I'm missing and some tips and tricks that you guys have. And then if you have any questions that you think I could help you with as well in the comments, let me know. And thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for next time. For a new bike, I continue to ride my old bike and I gotta redo this. It's not making sense.